So I would like to introduce you to the director, the project director for Mars Scholar Project for World Shaper Academy. Um, and their focus really is to make a difference with Mars-focused space science education for students in China. Please welcome Daisy Zhou. Good morning. Um, can I ask um, how many of you are coming from Asia? OK. <laughs> cool. So I'm special here. Um, thank you, Lucinda, for introducing me. And uh, thank you for inviting by Dr. Zubrin to come here and giving you sharing some of our viewpoints and our case studies here. And uh, um, to warm up our plenary, I would like to start uh, with some interesting questions here. Um, anyone know who he is? Yeah. Someone, someone may know him, <laughs> right? But not, not the, the man left. Yeah, when, when I show this picture, you may know much better because about uh, Mr. Von Karman, right? And uh, Karman is the mentor to Mr. Qian Xue Seng. So because in China, our family name comes first. So Mr. Qian is actually um, the father of Chinese rocketry and uh, space light because um, he led our nation's first uh, uh, first Nations ballistic missiles, and uh, the first satellite, and also the silkworm anti-ship missiles. And he used to study in the United States as a student in MIT and later as a teacher at CIT. And he also um, was uh, quite involved in the United States um, to explore jet and rocket uh, propulsion. And, you know, he comes from the city of Hangzhou. I will introduce this later. And this is also the city I was born, so I'm very proud of that. And uh, in 1940s, he also helped to found um, JPL, which you already know, the NASA's Premium Space Exploration Center. And uh, so the next question. <laughs> of course, you know who they are. But my question is where they are. They are in China. They are in Shanghai. They are invited to this World AI Conference, and they had a debate. Um, it's an awkward and bizarre one, but attracts the world's attention. They discussed a lot about like AI, alien, um, work of culture, and uh, many things. Of course, about Elon Musk's obsession about the Mars. And you know what? Jack Ma said, I did not care. <laughs> I do not have any interest in, interest in that. So they said one Ma, because Elon Musk, one Ma is from the Mars, the other Ma is from the Earth. So, yeah. Uh, I think, I, I, I do hope that from, uh, you, you, can, you can see something from this. Uh, the key words of my speech today is about Chinese, China, USA, about the Mars, education, um, entrepreneurs, and the future. So, yeah, this is our company, World Shaper Academy, and we believe that innovation is a mission beyond ability. Uh, of course, World Shaper is a newly created word by us, and meaning to shape the world. And uh, uh, we, do, we offer innovative solutions for schools and uh, uh, teenagers. We help them to learn the spirit of science and to uh, the design thinking and uh, model thinking. So they are encouraged to contribute on the sust sustainability, sorry, sustainability of, uh, of the society. And also uh, they, they are trained with transferable skills. Yeah, so you, you saw this, who am I? And uh, Lucinda also introduced me a bit. My name is Daisy Joe. I'm the MSP director of the company. And uh, that girl, yes, it's my daughter. And uh, yeah, why I brought him up. So I, I, I do have the question often as a mother that 
is she really a girl or a princess? From the photos and from what she's doing with me, <laughs> not a girl, not apparently. And, but, uh, so like most of the mother in China, I do have to, uh, take the, take, take, take those challenges of the reality. And uh, she is the type of a boy inside, but she's quite a question maker. So, uh, I always wanted the best education for her. I want her to be, uh, uh, like a curious and independent thinker. Of course, uh, problem seeker and solver at the same time, and being passionate and uh, enthusiastic about the science and math. So here I'm going to introduce my colleague here sitting there, Peter, Mr. Peter Yang. Uh, he is the founder and CEO of uh, World Academy. So uh, me and Peter, we went to the same high school and uh, university. Um, my specialty in my startup company, my own company, was about the education uh, technology and uh, convention, exhibition, and also media. Uh, but World Shaper was at first the partner of my company. And then, so I fully understand and be consent to uh, their mission, their uh, values, and uh, um, their responsibilities. I will explain those photos later. I'll just give you a hint. And, uh, you know, they invited um, Nobel Prize holders like Tim Hunt to come. And also uh, the other one I will show you later. So um, from time to time, I will ask Peter the question that, why you always offer those fantastic programs to other kids rather than to her own daughter. And by the way, uh, she's the same age as Alyssa, eight years old. In China, they're in grade three now. So, um, from, um, he usually made the excuse of that he, she's maybe still too young, but look, look this, Frank, um, the American theoretical physicist Nobel Prize. And also in two, 2016, they invited him to come for a foreign in, in our city. And do you see this little girl here? That is Pauline. So Pauline was there, very like walking there and here and there. And then he, she asked it, what is outer space? Quite interesting. So, um, I do think that uh, maybe Peter is too busy. He lost something for Pauline here. So until January this year, um, Pauline had to attend a competition, a Lego FFL competition. And the theme, the, 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 the project is about the water circulation of a rocket from the Earth to the Mars. And you know what? Peter was so much excited about that, and she he shared every detail of me about how he assisted her his daughter that to to finish that project. So I think he's kind of like uh, uh, obsessed like uh, Elon Musk uh, on the Mars. So yeah, and very soon a new team. Um, was established under World Shaper, and uh, we fully fully focused on the curriculum and the program themed on Mars. And so he invited me to be the team leader, and uh, also because of the typical, you know, empathy and patience of a motherhood. And I also made my decision that was not easy at all, and I started my new adventurous um, journey as a professional project manager again. Um, so. I think Lucina also brought up that why we are here. Uh, in March this year, uh, we met with Dr. Zubrin and uh, Ms. Hope Zubrin, and also some active members of the China chapter at uh, that time in Shanghai. So enlightened by the current exploration by Mars, the idea of ours to uh, design the K-12 STEM program was fully supported and understand, uh, agreed uh, by Robert and Hope, and then after that, we just started to uh, work on the curriculum 
uh, the, the designing and the product operation, etc. So um, later, with the luckiness, um, we, thanks to our uh, dedicated and experienced team, it's been growing very fast. You can see here, um, ASA meaning after school classes. So we offer classes to the schools. And also club, we will engage more talented students. And then we are going to have Mars Hub Lab. We want to simulate the, the same like hub with those function areas there. And uh, we will organize science fair and also challenges uh, for younger kids. And uh, also we will co-organize carnivals or camps with schools. And, and also we are going to offer free trainings for uh, schools and students uh, s teachers in China for uh, the curriculum plan. So uh, we launched the, the, this first edition named MSP, and uh, uh, luckily in July, we had this first edition of summer camp, and uh, we also have uh, Rachel Zubrin to come all the way from um, where she was working for uh, uh, schools in Asia, and then we. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to show you some some videos here. You can see uh, we invited uh, the students from age seven, eight to twelve, thirteen, and they are go they they they, are, they were together for seven days. It's, qu it's quite a fun camp, and they learn a lot thanks to our faculties. We also have some very good um, bilingual teachers as well work together as the faculties. And that's the last one. So after, after that, we officially wanted to name our project as MSP, Mars Scholar Project. So inspired by, by Mars, um, with the hope that we can continue exploring uh, from the advanced tech topic of land on Mars uh, to lead the innovation for education and to uh, perfectly incorporate uh, human sustainability into the STEAM program. And not very long, we uh, have more team members to come uh, as a crew. They are STEAM teachers, professional teachers, like Dr. Pan, he, she also uh, did her study in the United States for the postdoctoral degree. So um, before I, sh I share the uh, viewpoint of you um, about PBL, I want to say something. PBL is project-based learning. It's a teaching method. And uh, we believe that PBL should be the, the, the vital career for, career for uh, STEM programs to make it an authentic problem and is the key uh, principle for our curriculum designs. So we are not only have our four-time teachers and educators in-house, and we also invited university students, uh, university professors and scholars and engineers to become our advisors and, uh, and uh, uh, um, uh, giving us consultancies. So, in the past four years, remember the, the photo I showed you, the programs by the World Shaper had helped um, more than 300 groups of students um, to complete their PBL studies. They, they, they have to spend at least a six months um, six months time on their studies. So why they're really enjoying the journey to create new ideas and uh, discover those unknown things. So many of those projects achieve outstanding uh, results. I will show you one example later. So both Dr. Zubrin and Ms. Offer think that um, it could be good that uh, we go here and share those viewpoints of you. And so that's why I say PBL is a must. Uh, before students under 10 years old, um, educators, they, they can just tell them about the space using those um, documentaries, uh, simulated um, rockets or um, uh, simulated rocket launches or those models. And when students grow older, they, of course, they're eager to learn uh, more technical details and uh, 
those real space challenges. So they want to um, experience the somatic and complex teamwork in space engineering, So, which is the most attractive part of space exploration career. I have some videos to show you here. Uh, the, this school, we offer them ASA classes, and uh, we interviewed some students and asked us some questions. I have another video from another top IB school in Shanghai, uh, interviewed by a uh, teacher, Mr. Zhao. He graduated from Tsinghua University, which is the top one in China, and also he attended the HESA. Uh, let's see what he did the interview with the middle school students. So this is PBL, project-based learning. And uh, um, yeah, so uh, what we think is authentic PBL is a plus, because uh, this, this is the teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working on an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic, uh, engaging, and complex question and uh, problems and challenges. So the core concept, complicated, real world, authentic, and teamwork. And uh, here we, sorry about, the, <laughs> sorry about this. Uh, the core concept here should uh, include the method, the content, the style, and its subjects. So authenticity, it means that um, the design problem should be close to the student's life experience. Uh, putting learning in a real problem situation 
is mainly based on uh, that for uh, considerations. So uh, PBL is pointing to the development of high-level thinking connected with the Broome's uh, taxono taxonomy and a classification, this is a classification as a pyramid of the different objectives and skills that education set for uh, students. And uh, now let me uh, give you some more examples that how we apply PBL for authentic problems with the high school students in China. Um, no, this one, if anyone knows this, uh, this is not, not our product, but um, this is uh, an initiative uh, um, from MIT and uh, has become the uh, premium undergraduate student thematic bio biology competition in the world. So in the past three years, we, uh, I mean, World Shaper, we organized uh, seven teams to uh, attend this iGEM, and they all selected as the top three at the, at the final in the United States. And uh, here is the example. In 2017, a team of 12 students from my high school in the city of Hangzhou, uh, they decided to go for iGEM for the first time. Um, the, my hometown is quite a nice place, uh, it's quite famous for uh, the UN heritage of th this West Lake, and also, and also the other one, Grand Canal. I will show you n n next. And uh, uh, for IGM, the students they have to prove to the judges that their work is uh, is is well thought and good and responsible. Responsible. So choosing a topic. A, a meaningful topic is not easy, and because there are many topics they can choose. So, after discussion, they wanted to what they wanted to do is for water because uh, my hometown is a water town in the southeast of China, and not very far from Shanghai. Uh, if taken by bullet train, it's only 40, 60 minutes. So. Uh, what they want to do is uh, the embarrassing truth that there are water pollution there. And uh, it's, it's the issue that uh, we have to deal with. So according to the rules, they have to, do, they have to begin to understand how the public's views is. That's the first step. So they do interviews online and offline, and they, they collected nearly 200 questionnaires um, covering the age from primary year into uh, retirement and uh, of different jobs and also education backgrounds. So they also have to introduce professionals like agricultural farmers. So it was quite clear that um, they, they all think that water pollution is something that they, they have to deal with. They're concerned about the environmental issues. However, Few of them know about the detection methods. Um, and as a matter of fact, there aren't many effective tools. So if there is an efficient and very portable, affordable method uh, that, that can monitor the concentration of dissolved oxygen, the total nitrogen, and also uh, phosphorus, and it will be used by the public, then uh, it could be especially for farmers and aquarius, those people. So after collaborating a, a great number of related research and documents, they eventually discovered this. Um, yeah, so they do design and test and redesign. So they eventually discovered this VGB promoter, which has good sensibility of oxygen, they applied the synthetic biological methods to contrast an, an E. coli strain into a detector. And, and yes, that's practical. And based on that, uh, they designed uh, and printed a 3D uh, prototype device. There are nine wells there and inside the device, which divided to three groups to cultivate uh, three kinds of detector E. coli. So one, for sample, uh, the middle one, positive control, and then for the negative. 
and uh, they renovated a yoga machine to uh, to this heater and embedded with a timer inside. So from May to October, they were fully occupied by their project. They not only com uh, completed the design and the production of the prototype, and but also making and sharing uh, like small video videos online and educating the uh, educating the, the public and also they have to wrote news and articles. Uh, they have their own website and to the community. So um, I here have also, uh, this, is, this is the video they made online which explains the, the, the whole idea in a, very, uh, in a very interesting way. And uh, about PCR. So uh, they have very successfully raised more than 2,000 USD dollars in the, in the public donation to support their work. And there are alumni and entrepreneurs that they want to invest in, and also plan for the sales in the future. Um, yeah. So uh, those through all our endeavors we, uh, to, to educate from um, future Martians, we need to apply real PBL studies in those authentic situations and as real as possible. This school club and fundraising. So here is uh, how they do for the iGEM final stage presentation. They, they have to do like that. And uh, yeah, it shows how they do and the price. So, um, so how we need you to help design more programs like that I'm showing you the, the core value of our MSP. Uh, we studied different education concepts and uh, we find them differentiated globally. With no exception, they uh, will educate their student to be whole, pe whole person and could read the world issues uh, and see the futures with, uh, uh, with an international vision. And we are no STEAM, right? And with the help of Ms. Lucinda, we find this. STEAM is S-T-E-A-M. For space explorations, we need more teamwork. So we change the other and make it the new word as teams. So I'm showing you another example. This is the uh, uh, challenge camp we're going to organize um, next year early. And uh, those are five challenges we're going to have. And the curriculum we design is uh, uh, just addition one. And uh, we, we, we know that we also have many uh, challenges organized by the, the uh, Mars Society. And this is the, the rover we designed for middle school students. And uh, let me show you, it really, likes a, a cute super Wally. And you know, middle school students, they will have their curriculum and they have to uh, take those challenges to design many things, like they, they have to control them with the control, the, the program, or even VR cameras. So another short video. So we also will have them to do those tests on different uh, venues, places. Very flexible, it, with four-wheel drive, uh, equipped with camera and radar sensor and grayscale sensor, etc. I'm running out of my time, so I'm going to the last part. I'm sorry. Um, oh, cabinet. Um, this year, it's a special year. Armstrong, the 50th anniversary, and also the 100 uh, celebration for Einstein and Add Addington. They are great findings. And uh, I couldn't wonder that if Von Braun's uh, the book uh, wouldn't be seen as nonsense in the first place, maybe the year when I was born, we already can celebrate the, uh, celebrate the, um, the, the video of landing on Mars. 
And uh, if Dr. Zubrin's books uh, could attract more attention by the governments and uh, 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 the private um, space companies, then maybe the, the year my daughter was born, we, uh, we already have the basement on, on Mars. So um, people like them, they get inspired. And people like us, we also get inspired. I, 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 have, this, I have this short video I also want to share with you which released by Chinese government, that we also have our 2020 um, mission. OK. So, um, so that's why we're here. We want to invite as many as scholars, professors, and engineers, scientists to join with us, um, not only in China, but all of the world, to come join us and make the better future for our generation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, as I used all my time, so if you have any questions, then maybe we can talk after the session, maybe in the noon or uh, tonight. Thank you.